Hello everyone and welcome to sports. After winning wrestling duels, state championships, Chattooga and Tryon are now competing for traditional titles. And each school has a wrestler with a special story. After locking down the dual title, Coach Brian Beasley says his squad is ready for the traditional competition. Nine wrestlers have qualified. Six of those guys are seniors, and uh, this is their last go around. The leader of that group is Griffin Jarrett. He is a three-time state champion going for his fourth. I don't like losing. I just want to win. I can't stand losing. I swear. I'm driven to win every match that I go out there for. He's won 241 matches and only lost 11 for his career. He is very driven, and uh, he puts a lot of pressure on himself. Uh, he, he watches his, he's never missed a weight. He's thinking about wrestling. 365 days a year. Griffin is also a 4.0 student and top 10 in his class. He wants to win one more title. I've been working my whole life for this since middle school. Tryon High School also brought home a dual state title. The Bulldogs are locked in on this weekend's traditional competition. Keeping them focused and motivated. Coach Eric Brock is in his 13th season and was a member of Tryon's only other dual championship team in 1994. Three members of that team have passed away, including Danny Johnson. But his nephew, Bo Jones, fills his spirit. I feel like uh, he's watching over him. Bo never knew his uncle, but family and people around town say he looks just like him. Sometimes it's emotional for my grandparents and stuff, and my mom, everything. She's like, I'm so thankful that I have a son that reminds me so much of my brother. Bo wrestles at 182, just seven pounds less than his uncle's weight. He wants to continue his memory. It's a good thing that my grandmother's still here and able to see that, and my grandfather as well, uh, get to see me grow up following his footsteps. Now both teams weigh in tomorrow morning and start wrestling 